Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is going to be just a, another quick one, uh, going over a new a, a new feature that came out of Langchain recently uh, called Structured Tools. So they talk about it in this blog post, which I'll leave in the description below. And basically the, the new kit on the block, uh, with old tools, it was usually just a single input, but now new tools can take in an arbitrary amount of inputs, and they are also introducing an agent class to help you do this as well, which is would be the structured agent. I tried testing it out. I believe there's a bug uh, in the new release, so I was not able to get that working, but I am just going to walk through how you could implement your own structured tool using the structured tool class and creating your own function. So let's just get into that, and I'll show you how it works. So... Essentially, first we're gonna just pip install the requirements. And then we're going to be importing requests, uh, the structured tool and the typings for the class. And that's important because the typings help uh, agents infer the, the agents are able to infer the typings uh, from the uh, function signature, as long as these typings are here. So that's why we have them. We're gonna load two variables from our environment. One is going to be the OpenAI API key. The second one's gonna be the Hugging Face API key because we are using uh, a function to get models from Hugging Face. Once we set those variables in our environment, we will define our Hugging Face function to get the models. So we are going to be calling the base URL huggingface.co slash API slash models, passing in our API key as the header, and then we are returning the results in JSON format. And then here we are getting the tool. So we're creating the tool from the function. And so the way this works is we call structure tool dot from function. And this will allow the agent to infer what it should be passing in here uh, to get what it needs. So uh, as you can see, we have our structured tool now. And then you could use this tool uh, it, it, like in an agent. So you know how you have those lists of tools and you know the canonical example might be like the SERP API dot run, like ser search equals SERP API. And then you would pass it into an array and the function to be called would be search dot run. This would essentially be the same thing. I'm just showing you what the function does here and not going through the whole steps of making an agent and passing this tool into the array, but that is essentially what you would do. So here we're going to get the models by calling get hugging face models tool dot run and passing in the query params uh, as search and then getting GPTJ. So when I run this, you'll see that we get the models back. I'm just rerunning it so you can see. And then we get back the uh, list models. So What's cool about this is now we are able to kind of have a bit more fine-grained control over the tools we want to pass to our agents, which I know um, I think has been a struggle for people in the past. Sometimes the tools that are provided by Langchain weren't really working as well, and they were a bit uh, hard to wrangle. I think this will help you create more uh, focused and scoped tools with explicit descriptions. So now that the so the agent can actually infer uh, more accurately which tool it should be using and how to call that tool correctly. So that is essentially it for the video. It's a very quick one. I just wanted to show you guys this because it's an update. Uh, I'm working on another one that's taking a bit longer, so that one should be coming out this weekend. I did tell y'all I am trying to make at least two a week, and I want to stick to that uh, when the time is that I post. It varies right now. I try to post at least one on Friday, though that has been consistent, but the second one will usually be whenever I have the time and the uh, second video is done. And yeah, so if you like the video, if this helped at all, if you have any questions, like, subscribe, comment. Hey, comments appreciated because I love the engagement. And uh, yeah, if you wanna to talk to me more, you can join the Friday Lunch Discord. It's in my it's in my channel bio. Um, uh, yeah, but there's uh, no outro, so uh, goodbye.